for 13 years. This image has been the centerpiece of discussion in the video game horror community. Dubbed as victim number one, this photo was found in a hacked version of Super Mario World back in 2010. It is said to be the corpse of a murder victim. A murder linked to the very same game. Since its release, countless individuals have attempted to find the origin of this image. And in September 2023, one person did exactly that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the story behind the mysterious image of victim number one. The beginning of the story opens in December 2010 and follows a moderator named Adam at SuperMarioWorldCentral.net, a center for ROM hacks of Super Mario World for the SNES. After browsing the ROMs needed mod verification section, Adam came across a ROM hack simply titled Mario. He noticed two files, one being the ROM and the other a text box with seemingly random characters, but included the phrase, find me, repeated over and over. Not thinking too much about it, Adam booted up the ROM to find everything out of place. The title screen was different, there were missing enemies, cryptic text box messages, and most notably, the lack of music or ambience, to which Adam described as very wrong feeling. The most unsettling part of the hack was after defeating the game's first boss. The usual Super Mario lore was replaced with something alike to a coroner's report, reading, Victim number one, eyeballs were unable to be found. The victim was found lying on her carpet. Causes of death unknown, hand marks with unidentifiable fingerprints were found all over her corpse. After this, Adam shared his findings with the Super Mario World Central forums. After some discussion, the website's founder, Kieran, stepped in and noticed the text file wasn't just random characters at all, but was actually a JPEG image header. After deciphering the file, Kieran found this image. The community decided to call it victim number one leading to people thinking it was an actual photograph of a murder victim. This is when the forum began to blow up, and thousands of users across the internet made it their goal to track down the source of this image. Some people even mentioned seeing this image before 2010, most notably on 4chan during a mini ARG created by a band. However, the thread was deleted a long time ago, so no one could go back in. And that now leads us to September 1st, 2023. Users of the Victim Court Discord channel, a channel dedicated to finding the source of victim number one, are up to their knees in detective work. During the months prior, users Crick, KTB, Denise, and PD were so close to finding the image, they could almost taste it. In early 2013, the Discord users discovered the band who started the ARG in the mid-2000s was called Common Man Down. After doing some digging, Victim Cord user KTB was able to contact the band's frontman, Jordan Davis. After communicating back and forth for a bit, Davis shared that he didn't remember much about the ARG as the band was drunk when they posted it. However, he did remember taking the image from Google by typing something along the lines of creepy Asian or something else similar. He remembers the source photo looking like a woman standing in a field, wearing heavy makeup and with her hand partially covering her face. The victim cord users PD, Denise, and Crick jumped down this rabbit hole with KTB. After touching up the victim number one photo and reverse image searching it, it led PD to a Japanese heavy metal band called Duran Grey, and this image was in the results. This was the biggest lead to finding the source ever, so the team got back to work. User Denise was browsing the Jeff the Killer image server 
another server dedicated to finding the source of lost media, when she came across this photo. It came from a blog post that originated from April of 2009. She noticed a few similarities in the subject's face, especially the tattooed markings on her right cheek, which appeared to line up perfectly with the darker spots on victim number one. Users were shocked, as this was the closest they were to solving this case in ages. But this is when God stepped in. On September 1st, 2023, victim cord user God put this photograph through PimEyes, a facial recognition and search engine, and after browsing the results, he found this. Looking awfully close to the source image, God got a friend to edit the image over victim number one to see if it was a match. And at 6.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, God did the unthinkable and posted the original unedited photograph of victim number one. Between KTB messaging the band, PD finding Duran Gray, Denise finding similar images, and Crick creating the victim court server, they all paved the way for God to do what everyone thought was impossible. Find the source of an image from 13 years ago. I want to thank Denise, God, Crick, KTB, and PD for putting all of their effort into solving this mystery, and for letting me interview them for this video. They are highly talented individuals, so please check them out in the description below. Also, thank you to everyone else on Victim Cord. You guys are truly doing tremendous work. And that now begs the question, what's next for the Victim Cord team? Well, after asking, they are now on the hunt to decipher more pieces of lost media. One of those pieces happens to be the original photo of Jeff the Killer. So who knows, maybe one of these names will pop up in a future video when that mystery is finally solved. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and good night.